the words, ladies and gentlemen, budget, budget, budget. <laughs> Our viewers are slightly old, so you say it more than once just to make sure everybody gets up. Why don't you talk too fast? Budget, budget, budget. <laughs> so what were the reactions to the budget? We'll give it to you in just 10 quick seconds. Common man's reaction to the budget. Take a look. I don't think that's really fair because I was thinking about it and uh, this is what the opposition claimed was the reaction to the budget. And of course, uh, when we asked the BJP, they said that that was a card-carrying member of the Congress. He didn't get a ticket in Punjab. That's the reason. Nothing to do with budget. I don't know. It's called the week that wasn't. We want to start with this, folks. Nadal versus Medvedev. Did you see that final? What a match. What a game. Nadal won in five sets. I mean, that's what the show is all about, folks. Giving you sports results seven days after the event. <laughs> okay, now, did you hear about, and I'm asking you this very candidly, did you hear about US President Joe Biden swearing at a Fox News reporter, calling him a stupid SOB? Uh, SOB ka alag matlab hai. I don't get into that. <laughs> You see, these are cultural differences. In America, leaders swear at the reporter. In India, leaders remove the reporter. In North Korea, what reporter? Take a look at this. Take a look. More inflation. What a stupid son of a What a stupid son of a President of the United States called him a stupid son of a You know that, that where the coastline is and the sea, the beach, son of but how does that phrase correspond in Indian Gali's? This is a huge question. Let's speak to our Gali expert who will sort of translate it correspondingly. <laughs> Matosh ji, you heard what he said. Uh, the president called that journalist a stupid son of a, you know, thing. <laughs> how do you translate that in uh, our languages, in uh, Hindi or any ethnic language in India? Go ahead. You. You, you, you. What do you mean by you? What are you saying? Yourself. Me. You? Stupid son of a... <laughs> now I know what Biden meant. Looking at you, I understand why people say things like this. All right, <laughs> folks, let's just move on. Criticized and threatened for his severe lockdown in Canada, and as tens of thousands of protesters showed up in Canada's capital of Ottawa, including 50% Punjabis, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was moved to an undisclosed location. <laughs> By undisclosed, I mean only he didn't know about the location. The rest of the country all knew. They were standing there outside. And you know there in Canada when people are shouting, Aja! Niche Aja! Really, that's Canada. Folks, startling news. Really startling news. Over 400 Indians are on death row. This is the worst number ever, the largest number ever, rather. Waiting for, you know... <laughs> well, that's at an all-time high, folks. All-time high. And my point here is, in that case, is there any point in giving them the second dose? I mean, I mean, then, I mean, you can't... You're wasting it, in a sense, because... You, you, Big Boss has reached the end. Yes, finally. The grand season finale is on us. And the correct reaction to that is... Thank God! <laughs> it's actually ended as the show is going on. <laughs> In fact, the last task was watched uh, the week that wasn't. <laughs> they all walked out. The question during this huge pandemic, before the highest court of appeal is... Well, should poll rallies be allowed? Hang on. Actually, it's a fair question. Let's be just. Let's be absolutely fair and just. And the answer is, I've written it down. Here it is. Are you mad? Are you SOB mad? Whatever the Gali translates into. Last Monday, a politician, statesman, the one and only Rakesh Tikait, has declared the day as betrayal day. I don't know. If the government only betrays you one day in the entire year, wouldn't that make it the best government in the world? The rest of the days were great. Now the union budget 2022. Let's get the common man's reaction to the budget. That was a silly joke we did in the beginning. This is the real reaction. This is the most common man we could find. Here he is. Can you tell us, sir, what you feel about the budget? Uh, Perhaps on income tax, infrastructure, residential issues. <laughs> vaccine, pandemic, hospitals. <laughs> uh, internet. <laughs> small business, big business. Is there anything else you can do? 
Sorry, folks. Sorry. See, the government has advised us never to let him speak. Okay, whatever happens, you can put him on TV, but he shouldn't. No sound should come out of that stupid son of a. <laughs> but I don't have the translations. So I can't go on. Anyway, those were his reactions. But lots more coming up. But first, the headlines. Union budget presented in Parliament this week. Who will win in UP? And Air India is handed back to the Tatars. Before we go into our top story, folks, it finally happened. I'm so excited and grateful. I'm speaking of Maharashtra local politics. The seven or eight parties that run our state, they've been really nice about everything. They've given us that sliver of hope that you want, that symbolic gesture. During pandemic number 64, they gave us that one thing, that silver lining that I've been begging for. You know what they did? They opened the swimming pools. Yeah, it's just great. That's super because, you know, Everybody in Mumbai and Maharashtra, everybody is happy about this decision, even though nobody swims. <laughs> Not one person went in the pool. It's January, February, you know, I mean, it's so cold for our standards. Kya karega? <laughs> anyway, before we go to actual top story, I'll give you a preface to that story. The budget will be our top story, but let me tell you that about 50 to 60 percent of the members of parliament did not understand the budget. Now, was it a complicated budget? Was it too uh, up and down? Was it too graphic in detail? No, it was in English. <laughs> Our top story. Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman presented a fourth union budget and the Narendra Modi government's 10th budget on Tuesday. And let me tell you, if you do the maths, that means more than one budget per year. Do we have budget for more budgets? I'm asking this question to you, dear viewer. <laughs> Joining us now to discuss the budget is financial expert Balakrishna Lakshman Swami Sitaraman. Insists on the Aadhaar card mention of the name, so we had to go with everything. Mr. Balakrishna Lakshman Swami Sitaraman, welcome to the show. Hey, no need to call me by my full name, Balakrishna Lakshman Swami Sitaraman. You can call me by my short name. Eh? And what is that if I may ask just to get into the program? Short for Balakrishna Lakshmi Swami Sitaraman, Balansit. Balansit. <laughs> correct, correct. Now, ask me a question. Come on. That is a gag that is worthy of the greatest. One of the greatest gags I've ever had on this show. <laughs> About Nirmala Sitaraman's 2022 budget, your thoughts? See, net net, budget 2022 is regarded as being consistent with a directional alignment to the last year's budget focus, which highlights fiscal deficit consolidation with overall policy framework, sustainable and agile policy response based on principles of consistency with measures to reduce protracted recession benchmarks and rationalization of direct profit and risk exposure in the economy, including macroeconomic growth relating to health of Indian economy. See, when all this happens, nobody actually takes the eye off the TV because you don't want to look stupid. Important to pretend. Can I be honest? I didn't understand a word. Neither did I. But it sounds so important, doesn't it? Eh? Yes, it does, it does. Can we talk about the budget point by point? Make it easy for us. Okay, ask me. Okay, what is your view on the 20,000 crore push for infrastructure? Infrastructure is all okay. But it is a disastrous budget otherwise. You are saying that? A disastrous budget. Why? A disastrous because there is no protection for the common man. Oh, let me understand this. So protection for the common man, you're talking about insurance, no, 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 no. social protection schemes, no, no, tax relief. No, 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 you're getting me wrong. Finance minister has taken away whatever basic protection the common man had. What basic protection has she taken away? Umbrellas. <laughs> she has added taxes on umbrellas. Umbrellas have become more expensive. Yeah, you just say that the actor is sounding more like Malayali speaking man than Tamil speaking man, which is a huge controversial issue. We don't want to, you know, states are very different. Seriously, seriously tell me, sir. That is seriously. Although, I don't blame her completely because in her own way, eh, own way, she has tried to uplift poor people also. What? So how has she tried to do that? By giving them better aspirations and opportunities. Like jobs and all? No, no, no. By making frozen muzzles, frozen squids cheaper. Now poor people may not get the dal and chawal. But we'll definitely enjoy the French food. Eh? Except for French people, they can afford dal chawal. What a paradox that is when they come here. What else? Let's talk about infrastructure. And national highways will be extended by 25,000 kilometers during 22-23. Yes. Now that sounds good. That really sounds good. Come on. Yes, but the way the government is going, they will build 25,000 kilometers of roads, but all roads 
will lead to Uttar Pradesh. I see. That's a symbolic all roads lead to Rome joke, uh, intellectual property line, which uh, we have <laughs> given you that moment for a second to digest. What other provisions in the budget are there? Also, by 2023, government has promised that 18 crore households should have the piped water. That sounds good, doesn't it? Yes, it is being called the piped dream project. Yeah, because 18 crore will get water. What about the 40 crore that don't get water? You know, I, I exactly know what you're saying. Any other interesting features? Yeah, most important. Most important is the plan for 5G. 5G, eh? Yes, they have promised that 5G will roll out by 2023. You think 5G by 2023? Yes, yes. Government wants to make sure that 5G rolls out by 2023 and Rahul ji and Sonia ji roll away by 2024. <laughs> Get it? Stretch, but well done, well done. Thank you so much for that. Great information, lovely mix of accents, uh, which tell you that whatever budget you're presenting, it comes from all over India at one point or the other. Thank you, thank you. You got your this month's salary or no? Eh? Uh, yeah, surely you jest. We don't get paid at all. <laughs> we do it for love. Padma Shri, that's all I want. I don't want money. I just want to be remembered. And one statue. In Maharashtra, one in Delhi. Chalo, one in Ahmedabad also, because we have roots somewhere in Gujarat. So I want three statues, minimum. Okay, one in outside India also, because foreigners should know who we are. Moving on. In the politically important Uttar Pradesh, as we all know, biggest state of India, uh, voting will start from the 10th of this month. We are also excited. Not because of that, but because 10th means only two days for the IPL auction. Closer. Now, the UP winner normally wins India. So, who will win? Let's meet cephologist and media magnate, Professor UP Dubey. Okay, it's exclusive. He only talks to us. Hello, Professor Dubey. Please call me UP. UP as in Uttar Pradesh. Upendra Pratap from UP. So, UP, UP. Um, we'll call you UP twice. No. Call me UP once and... Uh, and, and? Call me UP again after some time. Look, UP, UP. Oh, Upendra Pratap. From Uttar Pradesh. Got it, got it, got it. UP? From UP. From UP. Wow, wow. Give me a second. What a waste of my time, really. <laughs> Give me a second. Professor, you've launched a book on UP politics. Yes, it's called SPUP. BJP UP. That's the title? SP UP BJP UP? Yes. SP UP BJP UP by UP UP. Now you get it. Shall I start? Ha <laughs> ha, yes, please go on. Go on. Give us your predictions. Give us your analysis. Let's start with the BJP. They have a very good chance of keeping the government because of one clear strong strategy. A strategy? Which one is that? Crime. Crime? Yes. They have blamed the SP for the birth of crime in UP. That charge can stick. I've heard that rumor. I've heard that rumor. And what about the SP? What's their reply? They have a way out of that charge. Which would be? SP has proof that UP had crime before SP came into existence uh -huh. and still has crime. After SP party lost the government. Got it, got it, got it. Yes. Yes. And the proof of that is many UPites turned from crime to SP and many SPIs later turned from politics back to crime. It's a cycle. It's a beautiful cycle you can't get out of. I, I appreciate this. Yes, of course, it's your analysis, not mine. I would never say that. What about the BJP issues, their side? SP says BJP polarizes communities. Again, this is your view. I've never heard this rumor. And is this so? It may be, but BJP have an answer to that. Which would be? BJP's point is polarizing existed in UP before BJP government and it will continue after the BJP government. After BJP government. Very interesting. Well put. But how do you rate their chances? It's like, it's very close. Like Amitabh Dharmendra, like Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma, like Siddhu Amrinder. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, very close, very close. Uh, come on, come on, pick a winner, pick a winner. Get, be open, be frank, be straightforward. Okay, I'll answer indirectly by telling you who will not win. Who will not win? Who? Congress. Come on, come on, be straight, man. Who will you vote for? Come on, UP, who will win and who will you vote for? I always vote only after the winner is declared. <laughs> UP from UP needs to stay in UP. Huh? 
I like your attitude. It's the same attitude I have with my wife when she says, have I put on weight? You know, I always give the same reply. Dekhi, that is your personal election. No. All right. We have to take a quick break, then we'll come back. But of course, there's no break from politics. So stay tuned. Lots of interesting stuff happening. I only say it. Actually, nothing like that happens. <laughs> We'll begin with this, folks. Welcome back to uh, the week that wasn't, of course. We had a small break. Uh, unfortunately for you, you came onto the wrong channel. Now you're stuck. You have to watch us. <laughs> we haven't mentioned this gentleman for six months, so I want to say his name twice. Rajnath Singh. Rajnath Singh. Just to make up. I want to keep everybody happy. All important people should be featured on this lovely program. <laughs> Rajnath Singh Ji says goons used to operate freely in UP under the SP or the Samajwadi Party. No, I guess he means that they worked freely all across the state, but now, due to the pandemic, the goons are all WFH, work from home. They're working. What is the key point we're getting from this? They are still working, but they are working from home. You can do your degree in stealing, thuggery and bribery. All that from Zoom. Did you hear about the PM uh, praising? I mean, this is unbelievable story. The PM praised Virat on Republic Day for leading the parade. Oh, one sec. There must be some mistake. Uh, Virat led the parade. I saw the... Oh, Virat, Virat is a horse. Oh, sorry, it's a fairly common name in Delhi. It's a fairly common name in Delhi. It's not my fault. I do apologize. These things do happen from time to time. And while the whole world is grappling with third doses, medical facilities, patient care and relief, North Korea tested its most powerful long-range missile in years. Apparently, that's Kim Jong-un's COVID management plan. Long-range weapons of mass destruction. Don't worry, two, three people die in one locality. You can kill millions in one shot. See, this is far thinking. This is a statesman we don't have. We need more of these people in the world to make it end faster. Aha! The West Indies are here. Well, partly to play white ball cricket against India, but more importantly, to participate in the IPL. Oh, by the way, the IPL is uh, to be held in just Mumbai and Gujarat. I mean, we have uh, the Mumbai Premier League anyway, we have the Gujarat Premier League anyway, and we have the Indian Premier League. So if the Indian League is confined to just Mumbai and Gujarat, shouldn't it be called the Mumbai Gujarat Premier League, MGPL, and not IPL? Details! Ladies and gentlemen, be specific, give me details. Don't just throw things out there. You might as well call the IPL Pushpa. Oh, that's a famous film. Sorry, sorry. That will be confusing. Pushpa has uh, probably got more popularity than the IPL at the moment, so you have to be careful about that. All right, life came a full circle when after almost 70 years, Air India... You don't remember Google? I'll wait. Air India returned to the hands of its original creators, the Tatas. Well, as we say in France, Tata. Yes, the government of India formally handed over the airline to the Tata Group last week. And joining us to discuss what the future holds in store for the airline is alleged, and I use this word loosely, veteran air stewardess of Air India, the unbelievable one-time beauty queen, one time for sure, but which time no one knows, Miss Fatima Suarez. <laughs> Welcome back after a long time, Miss Fatima Suarez, to our show. Hi. <laughs> What am I, Cyrus? Why are you being so formal, men? Don't say Fatima Suarez, Fatima Suarez, men. You forgot me or what? Go to the church and do three Hail Marys, men. Come on, come on. I don't get parking at the church. That's the only reason I don't go there. I'm a big fan of religion, so that's the reason. But please go on. Then how many times I have to tell you, what is all this formality, men? Just call me by my pet's name, men, bugger. Your pet's name? I, I, what, what pet? Dog or cat? Not pet's name like Rocky Tiger Moti, men, pet's name. Like how to say men, bugger. Uh, like, you know, Nick's name. Nick's name? Oh, chai, chai, one second. I'm assuming Nick's name will be Nick. Che, men, not Nick like a Nick Chopra, men. Nick Chopra? Nick Chopra, Jonas, men. What, men, Cyrus? How thick you have become. Eh? You don't know anything only. Okay, okay, go on. So let's get on with it. Go on, you tell me. First, call me by my pet's name. Short for Fatima Suarez. Fatso! I know, I know. I, I took you a little while because you haven't been on. Fatso. Although, obviously, that's not because you're, you know, it's just, it's a pet name. Oh, sweet you are, men, Cyrus. You remembered, men. You remembered. God bless you, men. <laughs> so let's talk Air India, Fatso. Back with the Tatas, Fatso. Yeah, men. When I heard about it now, nah, I started jumping with joy, men. Fatso. I'm just saying it so I don't forget. That's why you were so happy that you jumped with joy. Can't hear a word, bugger. Not jump with joy, man. Jumped with Joyce. Joyce Sequera. You don't know her or what, huh? She's fat, short, with a blunt bobcat now. 
nothing like me, huh? <laughs> She's also Air India only lives in Chimbai village in Bandra only. Just a stone's throw away from me, you know. Her point being is she's thrown stones very often for no reason. So you jump with Joyce. Yeah, man, Bhagat, so happy, na, so happy. Thank God, na. We were all actually thinking of leaving Air India and looking for another job only. But with all this COVID, COVID and this lockdown, no, there were no jobs available only, you know. Yes, yes, I believe airlines went through a lot. Yeah, man, Cyrus, there were no jobs only. I managed to get one interview in another airline, uh, but... Uh, but what, what? But they just refused to give me a job, man. Why would they? Why would they refuse? You know what they said? You know what they said? No, please tell us. You know what they said. No, Baba, fat so please tell us what. They said we can't hire you because of the name of the airline. Because of the name of the airline? What is the name? Virgin Man. Uh, is it Virgin Man issue or Virgin General issue? I didn't get that. So you're looking forward to the takeover and the new improvements then? Oh yes, oh yes, man. Now that Ratin is taking over now. Ratin? Ratin Tata Man. What a gentleman. What a gentleman. Although, I don't think he will like you too much, man. Why would he like me? What have I done? Why would Ratan Tata not like a person like me? Why? See, you may have done nothing, but unfortunately, your name is Cyrus, na? And there is no mystery about that, see? <laughs> Crowd is going crazy. People are cheering. Give us more facts, so give us more. Okay, get, getting on with Air India, what are the changes that you're expecting personally? Oh, everything will change. Everything. There will be many, many firsts, you know. Like what? Like new menus, better food, punctuality, better aircraft, better routes, all that. That's great to hear. That's interesting. But we're all expecting a lot. And what about for you personally, I think? Uh, give us some more personal insight. Any first there? Yes, man, yes. Also for the crew and staff, now, there is one big, big, big first, you see. Ah, I see, I see. So now that the government is not running Air India, what is the big first that is in store for Air India crew and staff, according to you? The big first is that for the first time, first time ever, Air India crew will actually have to start working men. Now, once again, like with the virgin men issue, is it working men or working and then men separately? Again, you know, fat so the whole flow is not happening for me today. I'm not able to understand what you're saying. But thank you for contributing, as usual, very little to the show. God bless you and we hope to fly with you again. <laughs> Bye, Cyrus. See you in the air, okay? <laughs> Bye. Uh, the two words that sum up the show after that performance that you just saw and it's a word that you guys say more often than us and these are the two words. I have data to prove it. I have research to prove it. I'm not making this up. It's not a piece of comedy. This is the truth. These are the two words you guys say while watching the show. That's enough. I want you to put your hand up and tell me how many people want to change the show to That's Enough. I don't want to call it week that wasn't anymore. I think it's a frank and candid observation by people watching. Let's go with That's Enough. And those of you who already left, obviously you had enough. So maybe that's another good word. Had enough, zero, that's enough. Producer demand, where is the producer? Matos. Hello. Yes, I can hear you now. Come, let's start. So then he had to get his consolation prize. What, wait, wait, wait. This is the background, no? Not at all. Who wrote this? Me? No, no, I'll take it again. Uh, he changed the background. I'm not sure. Marine Drive, all of Marine Drive. That's the best. Oh, really? Zoom out without table? Not at all. Keep it like that. Oh, you're telling me? Hey, Baba. I tell you this line again. <coughs> Let me just take the background first, no? It's fine, it's fine. The producer said background should be a budget. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>